Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be filming my February monthly budget. I'm gonna be making quite a lot of changes going forward, but I will leave that for another video. Do you wanna, do you wanna come along with me? Come along with me, do you wanna? And we ain't got nothing, gotta do something, get it right. Gonna keep on running, grab the fun and live it live. And tomorrow's far away, should I let the party fade? And we ain't got nothing, gotta do something, let us talk tonight. For those of you who are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Gracia. I'm a mom of one and I'm on a journey to becoming fully debt free and also to get my finances under control. And for those of you who have been rocking with me from the very beginning, in between, and will be rocking with, with me to the end, welcome back. All right, so I've got my budget printable here. I've already pre filled some of the categories just to make it easier because I'm using a different layout right now. Um, it's a bit tinier, but it's okay because I have to shrink it down to fit into my actual planner. So I'm going to fill in my income and then we're going to work our way through the different um, areas on this budget form and we'll keep it moving. So I hope everyone's been doing great. I've been doing okay. I'm back to work tomorrow. I'm going to turn my paper slightly. I'm so sorry because I've been trying to write, you know, straight and it has not been working. Okay, so for my income, I never really fill in the main income because that's a combination of child maintenance, child tax credits, working tax credits, child benefit and my wages. So I never really break that down because I just feel like there's no need to. The amount is actually the same as it would be. So that is 1,000. And 44, what am I saying? 1,444 pounds, 47 pence. Oh, me and my huge handwriting. So that's how much we are bringing in. So we're gonna move across to our 3% saving and this is usually 25 pounds. And my help to save is 50. So, you know, I add these up and then I deal with the rest after. So, we've got 25 plus 50, it's 75. There we go, we've got 75 here. So, we put that in our total box, 75. And we are going to subtract our 75 from 1. 444.47 so that gives us 1369 pounds 47 pence so i'm going to put that into this box here so we've got 1369.47 all right so i'm going to move down to my expenses my rent is 375 Council tax, 101. Electricity, 35. I've changed up the electricity and the gas. I've given the gas five pounds more. So the electricity only has four pounds extra. If that makes sense. So um, gas is now gonna be 50. Water, 36 and what I've done I've rounded everything up guys okay so say for instance if the water is actually 35 69 I've just rounded up to 36 mobile phone is 23 pounds internet 40 bank account fee two pounds subscriptions 30 2.98 I think I need to get a new pen this one has been acting up and then you'll see credit card here and basically this is the amount I paid on my credit card to clear it off to make sure there's not a balance on it so that's 188.98 
and this was used in January but the amount is coming out of February's money because that's just how it's going to work on my budget okay so I'm going to add these up like I said I have some new stuff that I'll be doing but I'll speak about that more in detail as time progresses we've got 375 plus 101 plus 35 56 23 40 2 32.98 plus 188.98 so that's 883 pounds 96 pence we've got there let's put that down here eight eight three point nine six and i'm going to subtract this amount from the amount up top from one thousand three hundred and sixty nine pounds forty seven pence that gives us four eighty five fifty one you can see that there Right, so we're going down to a debt now. I've created a little category for the debt with more boxes in it, just so the breakdown is actually there. So for our Good Samaritan, we are paying 260 for the month of February. Debt two gets 75. Debt three gets 38.18. And debt five gets 27. Point nine one. Let's just add that up. 260 plus 75 plus 38.18 plus 27.91. That's giving us 401 pounds nine pence. So we're going to put down here 401. Point zero nine, and we're going to subtract that from this amount here, which is 485.51. So we've got 84.42 left over. Why does that look a bit off to me? Anyway, let's keep going. So our sinking funds, you will notice that the car maintenance isn't here. Um, I sort of explained that in my last cash envelope stuffing video, I think. I did take my car to get it serviced. I had around £273. Everything came up to about £351. So I did have to charge about £77 or £78 onto my credit card. But like I said, this amount sort of cleared it off. And this also covers other expenses as well. So... Self-care is going to get funded because that's important to me. That's getting £40. Road tax is getting 10 And Costco membership is getting 10 After February, we'll just, we'll just be making one more payment of each of these for um, March. And then we'll be done with that for the year. But I'm kind of contemplating putting a bit more in here because I'm hearing little rumours that the road tax might be going up. I don't know how true it is, but, you know, better safe than sorry. So this is quick max. 40 plus 10 is 50 plus 10 is 60. So 60 from 80 is 20. So it should be 2442. But let me just use the calculator just in case I'm being a bit overzealous here with my maths from 60. Yep, correct. 2442. So for groceries, we are budgeting 60. We've decreased this by 40 quid. And petrol, we're budgeting 60. This has been decreased by 20 quid. And Kaylan, I'm budgeting 40. And this has been decreased by another 20 quid. So 60 and 60, 120, 140, 180, right? Let's check. 60 plus. 
160 plus 40. 160. I don't know if that's what I said, but that's 160. So we've got 160 and we're going to subtract that from the 24.42. So 160 minus 24.42 gives us 135.58. Now I feel like the numbers on here are a bit off. I don't know why, but I feel like they are a bit off. Let me just quickly check my numbers and come back. Okay, guys, I've checked everything over and I'm still getting 135.58. So we're going to put 135.58. That's going to be a negative. So we're over budget by minus 135.58. So this is February's budget. You guys would notice my last three budgets have been over budget. But I'm going to figure a way to sort of, you know, get these figures in some way, somehow. Um, this bit, I, I actually fill up at the end of the month when I'm doing my monthly closeout. I fill this bit up, so I leave that blank. And everything else I fill up middle of the month or whenever I feel like. We need to get these two boxes completed. The blue one and this like light, light peach one with some sort of money, some extra money or something because we need to make sure that this isn't going to be rolling over into March budget. But this is it, guys. Be sure to stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. We would love to have you here. And in case you're a bit like lost as to my whole entire journey, do check out a few of my other videos so you can sort of give it, get an insight as to how I budget and why I'm doing things the way I'm doing it now. And I'll also be updating you guys on a few changes I'm making going forward. So do look forward to that video as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Wanna shake the ground. Wanna break away, let loose.